you know, a lot of people want to know what the vision of CRMV is. And CRMV is really a reaction. Urban sprawl had created a lot of problems, but I really had not realized how divided immunities had become. Uh, until that point, I was just trying to save our own backyard. This land was in the path of future development for Atlanta. Uh, I started buying land to protect us. I, I never imagined becoming a developer. We fell in love with the land. We opened our first restaurant in 1973. Soon we had lines and I realized that uh, if you uh, created a place that people would find you. That became uh, the big uh, journey that led to uh, bringing an entire community together with a vision. So for a land policy, we saw our best model in the countryside of England. But we also looked at how America developed a community 50 to 100 years ago. Um, and many of the things that made our early towns uh, vital, uh, vibrant, uh, have disappeared today. Uh, one of the key things is art. My sense of what the arts do in a community is that it, it binds it in a way that's nonverbal. There's nothing specifically tangible, but it raises that level of your experience in a place when it's around you all the time. For us, the word community and the word sustainability ties so much to food systems. We know who's growing our food. It's being grown locally. It's absolutely fresh and organic. Um, and then all of those things tie together, not only putting better nutrition into your body, um, but you've, your heart feels fuller doing it and your soul is fuller because you're friends with the people that are feeding you. The food system is the one thing that we all share in this country, so getting to put faces to who is growing your food and being able to see how it is grown too. People know how their food is grown here. They can come and visit. They can ask us any questions about our practices. Connection to one another and connection to nature are key elements to both mental and physical health. So many times when we talk about environment today, we talk about energy. We might talk about water, but we really don't talk about the entire picture of all living systems and how they all have to operate and need to operate in order for us to have a balanced place to live. People are coming here opting into, I want a better quality of life. Um, I understand that I don't know my neighbors, that I don't have access to quality food, that I'm not breathing fresh air, that I'm not experiencing nature. And so a beautiful thing I think that we're offering is the power of that choice. It's amazing to me that we are in a global uh, conversation because we literally have people coming from everywhere uh, to understand these simple principles of developing community in relationship to nature. <laughs>